Rick, Pedro, welcome to D23 Expo. Congratulations on the season three trailer, which everybody got to see now. Rick, I want to hear from you. You're an executive producer now after directing some awesome episodes. How did, what kind of crea creative input did you bring to the table that you felt you got to put your stamp on season three as, as an exec? I, I mean, I, I've been a, a part of the, the storytelling in this world since the, the second episode. And what's been great about how John and, and Dave have collaborated is that they've, they've always sort of included and wanted and and they're really pushed for the directors to bring their own points of view and vision and so i've been doing that within you know the the episodes that i was you know that i was directing also writing uh and and now just to be able to sort of expand upon that into executive producing and continuing to direct it's been uh pretty amazing and so you know i, I think we we've, we've just been trying to tell this I guess simple story of a guy and, and his child and, and complications continue to happen <laughs> in his life but uh, and so whatever I could do to bring that to life it's been it's been great and exciting. I love to hear it. with a seat at that table with John and Dave constantly in the know. How far do you guys talk about the story? How far ahead do you plan? Oh man I mean that's what's been great about the process is how organic it's been and, and that it's and yes, there's some thoughts, you know, I, I think now about how it, how it expands, but I think initially it's just really the simple act of telling this story. I think it, we were, I think John was trying to keep it from becoming so big what he initially conceived of it. Um, but I think it's Star Wars, it, it could never be contained. So, uh, so, so yeah, so I think that's, it's, it's, it's never really about like plotting a master plan. Um, but there are a ton of stories that are going to be continue to tell in Star Wars, and some of them have come through our show. You know. I can't wait to see where you all go with it, Pedro. It looks like Din Jaren, He's 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 welcoming people into his life again for the for, he might be having some followers. Maybe tell me about this journey. I mean, you you've you've got to know this guy and see this journey, and he's he's still on it. Where is he now? I you know <laughs> when he says that you start with something simple. And, and, and continue to build around that. I, I just find it fascinating that such a, a person that kind of insists on simplicity and, 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 and living his life on a, in, in such a simple way, um, the way, yeah. this is the way. He uh, said the thing. I did. I said the thing. I've been. I've been changing. I've been coming up with different variations different birds, of it. Yeah, so. There was that. Um, anyway. Uh, I think that for somebody to discover who they are with as much resistance um, as they ha they can they can muster is is a, is a fascinating thing to watch. That's all I can say. And he's met Luke Skywalker. No big deal. No big exactly. deal. Thank you, but guys. He met, he met Luke Skywalker, but he doesn't know who Luke Skywalker <laughs> is. Like, so he's like, are you a Jedi? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Take the love of my life away. Okay. Katie, so good to see you again. The trailer for Mandalorian Season 3. Everybody can see it now, not just the audience in person. Now that, now that it's out there, can you share like what it's like for you to see it? What's your favorite moment from that trailer? And how accurate is it to what we're actually going to get here? It's so funny um, because I think that the, the trailer at Celebration was a little different, um, but it was very much the same tone. So sure. that's all that matters. Um, and I think that it's, a, it's accurate in the sense that you're going to have a lot of Mandos running around um, as witnessed. And we're going to get to know a little bit more about that. And, and that's exciting. Um, you know, I spend a lot of time with Grogu this season. And um, it, it's fun. It's, it's fun. He's, he's a good co-star. I love it. And it looks like Din Djarin might be uh, getting a few followers of his own, maybe. Uh, what would what, what, what bo -Katan think of something like that? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, right? <laughs> when, you get, when you guys, you know, I imagine this is like a reunion for everybody when you come to these events. What's like the group chat like between you all in the off season? You guys all keep up with each other? So Dave and I um, text quite a bit. It's usually about our pets, though. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so, you know, and Emily and I see each, each other quite a bit and Giancarlo. Um, and I just love to spend time with the people that I work with when you truly love the people that you work with. And, um, and that's what we have. So it's great. And coming out to an event like D23, like you never know who you're going to run into. If you hit the floor, you might find like a cool collectible. Is there anything or anyone that you really geek out over at an event like this when you just bump into it or find it or find them? So the fact that I have now like two times been in the same vicinity and airspace as Harrison Ford is one of the coolest moments of my life. 
Um, and I am still holding out hope that somebody will take pity and cast me in something so I can actually work with the man. That would be amazing. What's the coolest Bo-Katan collectible you've ever found? Oh my gosh, you know, I, I shouldn't say this, but I love the like homemade stuff on Etsy. Like there's some really, <laughs> that's fair, that's there's fair. some really fun creative stuff. You know, I love that. But I've seen a lot of tattoos of Bo lately and I love the when people are taking like their own spin on the night owl symbol. So cool to see. I can't wait to see what you guys have for season three. Thank you so much for coming by. It's great to see you again.